Hey guys, for this week's You've Gotta Try This video, I'm gonna talk about coffee, like all about coffee. I have had my Keurig for quite some time now, and last October I bought my fancy espresso machine. And it is the, I think it's, it's the Breville Barista Express. So it grinds the coffee, you get you get it in like the, I don't know all the names, like the porta filter, whatever. Um, this thing here. So you put it in your <laughs> your porta filter, and then you make your you pull your espresso shot, and then you can froth your milk on the side. I love lattes, love lattes so much. So in having this, Starbucks is ruined for me. I drink their coffee now, and I'm like, oh, like this is not good. So which is horrible. And I for the longest time was like, man, I'm unlucky. Like I have not had a good. Like there was one time the kids were, I was taking them to a soccer game and I, I was like, okay, we're gonna, we had to be there at like 7 a.m. I'm like, we're gonna stop at Starbucks. We're gonna get a coffee. And I got it and I was like, I, I don't like this. And I had it, I don't know, I think until about noon, I was working on choking that puppy down. Um, a few other times, occasionally my boyfriend and I'll sh a split a latte if we're like out and about and no. And I'm just like, it's just, it just not been good lately, has it? And I've been complaining about it for about three months. And he's like, you're just a snob. I'm like, I don't think I'm a snob. And he's like, no, you're just gotten really spoiled. And I have. Making your own coffee drinks, it, it's just a completely different experience. And I do credit the beans that I get a lot. So when I bought my espresso machine, I also looked into coffee and espresso beans. And which beans, which by the way, I guess is just like, it could be just the roast or any beans, but looking at like which beans were the ones that, um, you know, I wanted to use and what was the best and just, I, I just spent all this money on this machine. I was like, I want to have good coffee come out of it. So I did a bunch of research, decided I had no flipping clue what I wanted. So that's when I got a subscription to the bean box. You guys, this is not an advertisement. I have not communicated with this company at all, ever, never once. Um, but they did do something really sweet this week, so that was what prompted me to make this video kind of about coffee and beans and stuff like that. Um, first of all, if I am just going regular, when it was just my Keurig and I would do like the, the um, I use the re reusable pods. So this is what the reusable ones look like. These, I've, I'll, you know what, I'll link everything down below. Um, I think I, have a, I can share a $5 code for the bean box. Uh, I'll see what I can do for the Melaleuca thing. And then I'll put these, my Amazon purchase. So I get these on Amazon. They're cute. They got little dolphins. I throw them in the dishwasher. They last quite a while. Uh, they do wear out like over time. We're talking like three or four years, but they're pretty good. So I will fill these up before I had my espresso machine. And I would use the Melaleuca Mountain Cabin Coffee. This one's decaf. That was a mistake. <laughs> uh, I've clearly never used it. But their coffee is super duper duper good. It's like, it's so good. So I like their coffee. Um, and I, I'll still drink it in the Keurig. I do have some that I just keep in here. I know it should be airtight. It's not. But I keep it in here and I just fill up my little pods and I'm good to go. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, now, but now for my espresso machine. The bean box. Let me show you. So you can sign up monthly. And like I said, I'll leave an awesome coupon below for it. It's pretty inexpensive um, given like the coffee itself and like what your what you would normally pay i can make about five shots of espresso i think that's a fair guess out of each of these bags so we're talking 20 shots 20 lattes for uh, for um less than 20 bucks a month i think it's like 18 if you sign up so um it smells so stinking good. So anyways, you get these samples and then if you write reviews, you get like a dollar credit for each review you write. So I always write the reviews because then I write enough reviews and I get free bags of coffee. So you're able to, they'll do like a sale and you can do the sale on top of um, if free shipping over $30 and then you have all the credits and they let you combine like all of that. So I will order big bags of coffee, the coffee that I like this one for example I'll order big bags of the coffee that I like and it's like free so it's, it's amazing their program is incredible I love them I've loved them and I've kept it up since October so they send you different that was so was an older one so they send you different oh this is one of our favorites here this seven coffee roaster this was one of the best lattes we ever had so they're like local local small coffee shops um, that are sharing their beans or their roasts. I'm, I'm really not a coffee connoisseur. I just really enjoy it. So <laughs> all my wording is probably really wrong. 
Well, this week, Deacon says, Mom, like, he walks in the front door. He's like, Mom, your bean box was just delivered. And I was like, really? Like, I'm not expecting one. You guys, what they did. And again, this is not get roasted with love. Seattle, Washington. Um, I lived in Washington for four years of my life. So it said, hi, Jenny. We noticed how much you enjoy your Westlake Avenue blend. So here's an extra bag on us. Happy sipping team bean box. I'm like, okay, these people flipping win. They win everything. All I did was write a review and they send me a massive bag of coffee. They're freaking incredible. So I love these guys. I love them. I just think it's so awesome that their program's awesome. Their coffee's awesome. There's been a few where we get it and we're like, oh, we don't like this. And we're noticing it's more and more like wine. Look at this one. Like notes. Oh, well, this explains a lot why I like it so much. Dark chocolate and butter. It's a lot like wine and you taste them. And the more you try them, like the more you can like pick up on the notes. It's really cool. So my, my thing, oh, and it doesn't have to be beans. They'll do ground too. So, and it doesn't have to be espresso. It can just be coffee. So it's not just like, and I, I don't know what it would look like to have the grounds come. I would think it would be similar to this, but I do the whole beans because it grinds it itself. And when I'm feeling really fancy, but not fancy enough to actually make an entire latte, I'll just grind it and then put it into the pods and then stick it in the Keurig. <laughs> See, epitome of lazy there. Um, that's even lazier than just making an Americana. Like, what? Like, why am I that awful sometimes? But... I had to share these guys with you. They just won me over to this week. Like, not that I didn't love them anyways, and I've been using them now for six, seven, eight. I think I've been ordering now them from them now for nine months. But this is, seriously, all I did was write a review. And they sent me a whole bag. And yeah, I write all the reviews because it's, it's fun to share it and it's fun to see too. Okay, well, I like this and I don't like that. And I like this kind of a roast. And I, you know, it's kind of like, I guess being part of a wine club, as a coffee club. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's awesome. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, if there is anything at all, any questions you have, like I said, I'll leave, I'll find something for Melaleuca, but then I'll also leave, or if you like know a friend or something like that, we buy from them. I've never like shared a link for them. Um, and I'll share the Amazon link and then I'll definitely share the coupon for the bean box, that link, because everybody needs good coffee like really good coffee. Like you drink enough of it and then you taste Starbucks and you're like, well, coffee. It's that kind of coffee. All right. I think I might go make some coffee now. Now that I'm smelling it all, I'm like, no, oh, what time is it? Oh, it's 3.30. That's totally acceptable time for making coffee, right? I'll only stay up till midnight, but um, no, I think I'm going to go make myself some. It just smells too good not to. All right, you guys, I will talk to you later. I hope you found this video useful. If you like coffee, <laughs> Bye.